to simplify radical expressions by multiplying by the conjugate. And what I mean by the conjugate is based off your difference of squares factoring facts, which is that a squared minus b squared equals a minus b, excuse me, times a plus b. So basically, if you have something that has an a plus b, then its conjugate is a minus b. And if you have a minus b, then its conjugate is a plus b. And we're going to multiply that because when you square, square them, it gets rid of the radical. So we're going to start with the first example, which is actually one of our harder examples. And we have five total. So what we do is you always use the denominator because we don't want radicals in the denominator. So we're going to multiply the denominator by 6 minus 5 square root of 2. If we multiply the denominator by that, we also have to multiply the numerator by that. This whole thing here equals 1. So we're just simplifying and we're not really changing the value. Okay, so what I first am going to do is the denominator here. So it has the form of a plus b times a minus b. And we know that's a squared minus b squared. So what I'm going to do for my denominator is square my a, which is 6, put the minus, and then square my b. All right? And that's going to equal 36 minus 5 squared is 25. So if you do this, that's going to be 25 times the square root of 2 squared is just 2. So it's going to be 50. That equals 50. Now, for the numerator, that's the harder part. So we're going to do first, outer, inner, last. Inner, last. So we're going to get 6. And then we have, uh, we'll do the outer which is minus 5 square root of 2. Then do the inner, which is minus 6 square root of 2, and the last. So two negatives make a positive, and we're going to have 5 times 2, because square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just, um, for these two, that's just 2, so that's minus 10. Now simplifying the numerator, we get 6 plus 10 is 16, and when you combine those two, because they have both square root of 2, so you get minus 11 square root of 2. And so our final answer, I think, is going to be 16 minus 11 square root of 2, and then 36 uh, minus uh, 50 is negative um, 14. And we usually don't like to keep the negative down here, so I'm just going to pull that negative out and write this as 16 minus 11 square root of 2 over 14. You can just pull it out. Okay, it doesn't matter if the negative is in the numerator or denominator. Okay, so we're going to go a little faster. These are actually a little easier on this one. So basically we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate is going to be 2 plus square root of 5. And since I'm multiplying the denominator by this, also must multiply the numerator by it because this whole thing here equals 1. You can multiply something by 1 and get the same answer. So the numerator is just going to be 6 plus 3 square root of 5. I just distributed the 3. The denominator is going to be your a squared minus b squared. So that's going to be 2 squared, but your minus square root of 5 squared. This equals 6 plus 3 square root of 5. Then we have 4 minus, and the square of a square root kind of uh, eliminates it, so you get negative 5. I mean, minus 5. So this is going to be negative 1. Or you can just pull out the negative and call this 6 plus 3 square root of 5 or you can distribute the negative as well. Um, the next one's very similar. Our conjugate is going to be square root of 2 plus 1. You're just changing the sign. 
Notice we're getting rid of the radicals in the denominator. So our numerator is just going to be 6 square root of 2 plus 6. The denominator, multiply those, is going to be a squared minus 1. So basically, um, your denominator here is just going to be 2 minus 1, which is just 1. So our final answer is going to be 6 square root of 2 plus 6 over 1, and you really don't need to write it over 1, so that would just be your final answer. And this one's a little harder, so let's do this one. Again, you always use the denominator because you're trying to get rid of the um, radical in the denominator. It's actually called rationalizing the denominator. And so the numerator is going to be harder. I'm going to go ahead and do the denominator. I always do the easy part first. So the denominator is just going to be 4 squared minus square root of 3 squared. The numerator we have to FOIL. So that's going to be 20 minus 5 square root of 3 plus uh, 4 square root of 3 minus 3. Cleaning all this up, um, we can add these two. So that's going to be 17. And we can combine these two, so that's negative square root of 3. And the denominator is just going to be 16 minus 3. So our final answer is 17 minus square root of 3 over 13. And our last one is this one. So if you already know how to do it, you might want to pause and try to do this and then see if you got the answer right. So we're basically going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. It's going to get rid of the uh, radical in the denominator. Um, if you uh, distribute here, you're going to get 12 plus 6 square root of 7. And then our numerator is just going to be 2 squared minus square root of 7 squared. So we have 12 plus 6 square root of 7. And in the denominator, we have 4 minus 7. And this gives you uh, 12 minus 6 square root of 7 over negative 3. Now what I'm going to do here is factor out a negative 3 in the numerator. So that's going to be negative 4 plus 2 square root of 7 over negative 3. I just use my highest common factor. The 3's cancel, so we're left with negative 4 plus 2 square root of 7. And I apologize for the TV being on. I just realized that it was on. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.